Derrick Rose will not be back with the New York Knicks next season after the team declined to pick up his $15 million team option. So is that it for D Rose's NBA career? Or does the former MVP still have something left in the tank? What's going on everybody? It's your boy Scott Proctor and I think you know the deal by now because this right here, this is Proctor's point of view. And as always, we love hearing feedback from you all and receiving comments like this one right here. Stay tuned to a little bit later in this episode when I address this comment and a Chargers rookie who could quickly blossom into a star. But to this topic here today, Derrick Rose's second stint in New York with the Knicks is reportedly coming to an end after the franchise declined to pick up his $15 million team option for next season. That decision shouldn't really come as a surprise since Rose fell out of the Knicks rotation in December and played in just one game after December 31st. The Knicks backcourt became mighty crowded with last offseason's addition of Jalen Brunson alongside Manuel Quickly, Quinn Grimes, and Josh Hart, who the Knicks traded for in February. That left virtually no tick for D Rose at age 34, but now he gets the opportunity to find playing time elsewhere and I'm willing to bet that he's going to make a fan base plenty happy. We all know that D Rose is a former league MVP, the youngest MVP in NBA history to be exact. But let's not forget that two seasons ago, two seasons ago now in the 2021 NBA playoffs, D Rose was the Knicks best player. He averaged 19 points and five assists during the 2021 playoffs, which led the Knicks in both categories. So we're just two years removed from Derrick Rose being the best player on a playoff caliber team. In just five years, which I get is kind of a bit of a longer time, but just five years removed from Derrick Rose dropping a career high 50 points in a game. Now, he'll be 35 years old by the time next season starts, and he's played in only 53 games over the last two seasons, but that might be a good thing for him. That's less wear and tear on those knees than if he had been playing 30 minutes a game, let's say, over that time span. D. Rose can still offer a contending team a legit scoring punch off the bench and provide valuable veteran leadership to, to anybody. A reunion with the Chicago Bulls makes sense for obvious reasons. No one knows if Lonzo Ball will ever play basketball again, while other Bulls guards, Pat Beverly, Kobe White, and Ayo Desumu are all free agents. D. Rose isn't gonna lead this team to the playoffs by any means, but he could be a valuable piece if Chicago returns to the postseason. The other team I can see D. Rose landing with is the Cleveland Cavaliers, another franchise he has spent time with in the past. The Cavs obviously have their backcourt set with Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland, but they're still young and look overmatched at times against New York in the first round of the playoffs. D. Rose could provide the guard depth in the experience that this team needs. I would love to see it personally, but let me know in the comments if D Rose is cooked or if he still has something left in the tank. Speaking of comments, shout out to our guy right here for this one, but I gotta address this one right here, man. I, I don't know, man. You tell me, I don't wanna be too disrespectful because I was a little low on Quinn Johnson right after the draft myself, but I'm not going to go against Derwin James, the all-pro safety, and you shouldn't either. And you talking about college stats, maybe go look back at those college stats because maybe you misread it a little bit. Over 1,000 yards for a national championship caliber team is pretty good to me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out our recent video on Chargers rookie wide receiver Quinton Johnston. But that's going to do it for this episode of Proctor's Point of View. See you right back here tomorrow.